Good day guys, just a quick overview of my um, uh, Enduro e-bike frame, BBS, BBS HD mid-drive build. Uh, it's, um, it's a Shimano XT hydraulic brakes, um, Shimano gear system, it's got the Sunrace rear cassette, so you're looking at 46 tooth like your bling ring HD in the front, and the rear sprocket is a Sunrace uh, 11 to 46 tooth the rear sprocket so it gives you good top speed but it also gives you a really good hill climbing ability just a quick walk around so you've got two on it, three mil rotors all around with custom uh, brackets uh, for the calipers and you see that 11 to 46 how big it is with the, with the two on three mil rotor man it's a phenomenal at climbing hills uh, okay, start the cockpit. Got the usual stuff: Paz, the thumb, con the left hand thumb control, screen, the Batman. Then I've got a USB which works off the ignition. Uh, so I've got a 12 bolt, 12 bolt, uh, uh, 3S, 3P uh, battery located just between the under the forks here. I think you can actually see in there. So that will control your control circuit, it does your headlights, it does a USB and it operates the uh, solid state relay and so on. So that's charging and balancing. So yeah, it's pretty cool. Uh, twin headlights, they also work off the key switch. Um, they're a household, I think three and a half watt each. They're very, very bright and they're just modified to suit in a, an existing eBay aluminium uh, housing uh, bike headlight. Got a bit of custom stuff done to it. Got a three position key, key which is off, on, which obviously does your USB which just come up, and your Batman. It's a bit low at the moment, so it's not fully charged. 56.2, it can, you can, with that 15S, uh, uh, what's that? 15s 10p, so it's 35 amp hour. You can potentially go up. I can potentially go up to about 60 volts without, with hopefully without any error codes coming up on the uh, controller. I've had it to 58 by 8, of course, and it works very well. And then your headlights, which is again, and it does your headlights, which is pretty damn bright, man, considering just how sold 12 volts. Just turn, turn it on. Does its load. Yeah, I won't go into that, but yeah, you can see that. It's just, there's plenty of videos on how to use the lunar screen and the system. So I'd like to thank Rodney, mate, for all the uh, Rodney from Lunar Cycles and uh, Gary and all the other fellows that helped me out during the build. Uh, I think it was uh, Paxton, I think it was Gary, he brought out a Enduro e-bike documentation which was awesome to, be, to uh, do a mid-drive build, very thorough. Um, so, going back to here, it's obviously two separate batteries, uh, 8S and a 7S 10P. Um, and this charging port, it does, uh, does, it's four pins, so it does battery 1, 8S and battery 2, 7S. And then while that's charging, you're balancing it. So that's again, that's a 8S balancing and 7S, which are awfully isolated once you turn it off. It, it isolates the battery separately. Um, custom wires. I've got uh, 203 mil rotors fitted on it. Uh, and uh, Shimano XT calipers, front and rear. Custom. Custom uh, caliper mount there to suit the rotor, and also, which is pretty cool, I found a Defender XC1 front mudguard. So that's the actual whole front mudguard, and I've used the front section and the rear section to make a rear mudguard, which folds the tire better than some of these stupid mudguards that stick up in the air. Uh, and the custom. Uh, 
custom uh, speed sensor mount for the uh, BBS BBS HD and the custom uh, Batman uh, watt meter mount. So it's all blended in pretty nice. And then uh, Rock Shocks 240 by 76 mil with a 600 pound spring. So it worked out nice for me. Just a Brooks suspension seat, cheap cheap ass uh, seat post, and a custom custom motor mount bracket, which took a few, took me a few attempts to get that right. And it's just uh, held in by the bottom bracket, but also has a stainless steel hose clamp there, which has got the heat shrink around it, which locks it into the the swing arm. And then also you got you know cheap Chinese kickstand which is, works quite well. But then I made a custom kickstand mount, which just mounts to the bottom part of the frame and just clears the motor nicely. So, got the Sun Race. I can't remember exactly the Sunrace brand, but it's a Sunrace uh, 46 to 11 tooth, which is ideal. I've only, this is in testing stage at the moment, but the chain's holding up nicely, man. So it's actually a cha one, uh, one and a quarter chain, because it's a fairly long rear swing arm on this. Uh, 46 tooth Lecky Bling Ring HD. So like I said, with those two combined, you get a really good, you got a good top end speed, but you also get a really low gear for climbing pretty much most hills. 